Hey guys, welcome to Indie Game Hustle. My name is Charles, and in this video, we're going to continue to talk about the Melee module. And uh, what we want to do now is uh, talk about the actual weapon that we will be using with our clips, and then, of course, with our uh, sword um, components and whatnot. So last video, we were talking about clips and how we can swing and, and, and activate certain actions based on the frames and whatnot, and that's all cool. Um, so now let's talk about um, how we can actually set up our weapons to be used, okay? So here, um, if you want get, to get to the weapon that's kind of built into the, uh, the game creator uh, melee, is I'm going to go to my actions and just I'm just going to select weapon and then select the weapon and then in the weapon you can see the prefab currently is sword weapon so when I click that it just shows up here and then we click it there that way all right great so here's a preview of what weapon that can that comes with it and so let's take a look at what's part of this prefab all right so there first things first with every weapon prefab, you have to have a component added, and um, that component is called a blade component. So to add a blade component, you would just simply uh, type in blade, and you'll see blade component there, and you would add that to the weapon. Now there's a few things that's on here. So uh, you see there's a debug mode, and if for any reason you didn't see like the box and the blue um, swirls and things like that. That's because the debug mode wasn't on. I didn't think about that in my last video, but that would be the reason why uh, the if it didn't show up for you. So you would want to turn this off or on, and, and it doesn't hurt to have it on at all times. Um, it doesn't show up in the game view, um, only uh, if you have it turned on and then you have gizmos or whatnot. So um, if it does, I'll, I'll just double check that, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Um, but for now, um, Next, you have the blade edge. So what I'm going to do is double click on the prefab to get us into uh, the prefab mode. And let's take a look at what this means here. So I'm going to select the sword. And what we have is this blade edge here. And it's going to be point A to point B. So let's see here just a second. And so what we want to do is, in order to see some of these things, you want to just make sure you turn on your gizmos here. All right. So so in this case, uh, for our blade here, it looks like we have blade edge point A and point B. And then they have something called capturing hits. And this is what we we're talking about with once you're actually hitting. So when it was red, that was when you can actually attack or hit the uh, the enemy that moment of red is when the enemy is actually affected by the attack or the swing, okay? Um, uh, they have a layer mask, uh, things like that, box center, so if you wanna change uh, the box center or, or whatever, you can change the size of your hitbox, basically, right? Um, you can change this box to a segment um, or you can change it to a sphere um, and this is, of course, dependent on the type of weapon you're using, and that's what it's for. So with a sword, this box right here would work pretty good. Um, let's see what else we got. We have the blade trail. So when you swing, this is the, the trail that when you swing, you see the white swish look there. So that's what that is. Of course, you can edit that. You can change how long and the duration, that sort of thing. And that's pretty it. Pretty much it. Um, in terms of the point edge here, so for instance, in terms of the, uh, the blade edge, so you would have to change this to like segment, and then once this is changed, you'll be able to see this, and this is just another way to determine um, kind of where the sword ends and begins. Um, in this case, anything, I guess, up to this point. Uh, so like for you can see how that's kind of doing here so if this is a really long weapon you might want to do something like that um, but in this case we're going to make sure that this is a box i think a box works pretty well for something so large um, like this broad sword um, and you just want to make sure that you can attack your enemy with this um, so yeah it's pretty simple um, there's not a whole lot to 
to adding and getting your weapons set up to be used. So what we're going to do now is take a look at setting up maybe our axe so that we can switch it out for the weapon that we want, right? Or whatever weapon that you have set up. So let me take a look at that. So I'm going to go into my 3D assets, uh, look for the hammer. I think I have a prefab already. And uh, let's see. All right, so I have this prefab. Let's take a look at it. So depending on the way that this is shaped, we could go with pretty much anything we want. I think the cube would probably be fine um, since it's such a broad weapon. Um, so let's go into there. So I'm going to go ahead and do what we just said. We're going to add that component, the blade component. And then now that that blade component is added, what I'll do is go ahead and go into the prefab. All right. And so now we have a good view. I'm going to turn on debug mode. And then since we know we're not going to use this blade edge point A to point B, I think what I want to do is use a box. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's try to get this set up in such a way. Just like so, I think. Let's, let's zero everything out. Well, I don't want to zero everything out. Let's see. And da, 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 da. bring that closer. And we could do something like this. And you can make it as accurate as you need it to be. I'm just going to kind of wing it here with this particular one. You could bring it up to where maybe it only is here. And then we could, that one's fine, maybe on the X. Maybe something like that. That could be useful, I guess. Maybe something like that. That could work. Maybe a little, a little bigger. All right, cool. So we kind of created that. I'm going to do like a point just to kind of make things kind of even there and just do a one. Or no, maybe not a one. Maybe a point eight. A point nine was actually pretty good. All right, cool. All right, cool. So let's play with that and we'll leave that like that. Now in terms of the trail, we don't really have much of trail, so we'll just use the same one that is already in the system. So uh, let's see if we can find it. There it is, slash. And then we'll leave this duration and things like that the way it is, cool. So see, that was really simple to kind of get that set up, but let's take it the next step and actually get it used in the game. So I'm gonna go back and let's go to our player and get him set up with it. So first things first, we want to know that that's the hammer. That's what we're using, this mystic hammer. And then I'm going to go to my weapon here. And I want to put the mystic hammer here. So I'm going to search mystic hammer. Cool. So now we have our mystic hammer selected on the right hand. Now, of course, the hammer is going to be a different size of the sword. So let's just take a look and see what's going on with that. So. OK, cool. So it looks like the hammer is definitely in the hand. Cool. Um, it's a little big, but it is nonetheless the hammer. Cool. So what we would want to do is reposition this hammer uh, based on this hammer. So we can do that now. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing as before. I'm going to go in. And I actually, I'm going to do one better. So I'm going to go to the hammer. 
And I think, do I want to make it smaller? Because it makes it, it seems a little big. Um, let's see here. Should I do it in the prefab like this? Maybe like a point. Let's kind of make it smaller, maybe. I could, let's see what it looks like. It's a little smaller that could work all right let's let's just go with that for a while all right cool so I'm gonna select the hammer remember we just want to we want to move the clone okay in this case it looks like there is only a clone but that's that's fine so what I want to do is oops I want to do is go ahead and rotate this the way that he's kind of holding it and of course, we're gonna change all these animations. We're gonna work with like the feet and make sure he's planted properly. Um, we're not gonna keep this default animation, but that's down the line. So, and let's try to get it. I think that works out pretty good. Yeah, that's fine for now, at least. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and get that positioning. So we're going to do what I did last time is going to just going to get the tool and get the transform. And I'm going to move it over to the side here. All right. So now what we'll do is open up our player and go back to our actions, our sword, weapon, and then we will change this. So I'm going to change this position. That's the same. It's going to be mainly the rotation, I think. Yeah, it looks like the rotation is the main part. So I'm going to do an 80. Hopefully this works the first time. Nine three negative, and then we're gonna do a negative one oh eight. I feel like this is a bunch, but let's see. Hopefully, that works. Perfect. All right, cool. So, it looks like that's working just fine. All right, cool. So, now he has the hammer, and if we were to swing it. As you see, the hammer is lighting up right where. Bam, bam, bam. All right, cool. All right, and so I didn't see the swirl. Uh, maybe it's just too small. So remember what we can do is play with that. So let's go ahead and hit, go back to the hammer. And we're going to increase these uh, Duration maybe so we can increase it to maybe a 0.5 that might be long, but that's fine um, And we can move this to maybe 120 um, Just to kind of get an idea All right, cool um, And I would say that's about it for now. So let's just see what that looks like And let's turn off this debug mode Maybe it has to be in play mode, so. All right, cool. And so I do see, it. so we'll play with that later, um, but it, it's definitely working. And you can see that it's longer, but it's just really small and it's not really made for this particular weapon. So we'll have to play with that. But that is how you add, you know, that to a weapon. But as you can see, we have our, our hammer. It looks pretty cool. It looks like a guy who would hold a hammer, right? Cool. All right. So I hope that made sense in terms of adding a blade component to your, your weapon. And so we're going to continue on and get going. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey, guys. Thanks for tuning in. For the next set of videos, I'll be releasing one every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. 
So to stay up to date on the latest 3D platforming tutorial, feel free to subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to support, you can find me on Patreon or, of course, you can hit me up on Discord. I like to talk about whatever project you guys are working on. Of course, thanks for hanging with me. Your support is always appreciated. As always, remember, never give up and keep moving forward. Peace.